Welcome back to another Jay's Club video, and we're now at the number 10 spot when it comes to my Black Series review for the Bad Batch, and we got Omega. So, of course, she's from the Bad Batch, this is season 1 Omega, so without further ado, let's take a look at the package. Taking a look at the package, we got the Black Series logo, like always up there. Uh, her box is a little damaged, but it wasn't as bad as Crosshair. We get a look at Omega inside the package right there. This is Comino Omega. Um, we get a look at the title down there. It's pretty cool. You look inside the box right here, so she'll do a nice while the other Bad Batch members we have in the collection. And taking a look back here, we get a look at Omega on the back of the box. And like I said, she is the 10th person within this line. And so yeah, we're back to the front. So without further ado, let's open Omega up and take a look at her accessories. So taking a look at Omega inside a package, she has like a creature right here. I'm not quite sure what the creature that is. She has some accessories up here. Oops. We can look at Omega on the side. She's a bit tinier than the others. And we got this this thing right here. I'm going to do some research before I actually review this because I don't know what this is. Just by touching. Maybe if I get it, I'll know what it is. But time being, the next clip will have an idea what it is because we got to look at the accessories. So up first, we got this little mask here for Omega. It's like a little... I don't know if it's a surgical mask or a gas mask, because I know, she, I think she wore one in episode three of season one, and then she was on Camino, so this could be a mask she could have worn, but I can't remember. But um, it has just like a little tube things. I think they're like tubes on the side here. Just some detailing or just little details on it. And it, you can't put this on her. There we go. We got it on her. I'm not quite sure if that's on her, right, but... You got her on here, so on her, so that's a look at the mask. Taking a look at the creature here, I'm not quite sure what creature this is. I don't remember what episode it was in, but he has like four legs and everything. He has a tail. And the only part that actually moves is his head, just goes side to side a little bit. But that's all. But you take a look at the front of his face and everything with his nose, and I think this is his mouth right here. And yeah, it's an interesting creature. If you know what this is called, let me know in the comments below, because I, I can't remember where this was even seen in Season 1 of The Bad Batch. So, yeah, with that, let's move on to our weapon. So, right here, we got the energy bell. It has some black handlebars right here. We got, like, a clear pink piece, and I think right here also kind of represent the um, energy. It's like a big, there's a little gold right here and over here, I believe. And yeah, this this is what I want Hawkeye to have. So I know this is not a Hawkeye figure, but the Hawkeye characters only have the bow, nothing in it. I kind of wish that they would have like a arrow in it, just to give it that effect. Because it's very it's very weird when he pulls back on it, pulls back on the um, string, and there's nothing there to for him to hold. So um, seeing this makes me wonder why they can't do it for the Legends characters, but there could be a reason or maybe not but yeah let's look at the bow it's nice that she comes with it and so yeah with that let's move on to omega and here we got omega so her hair is a bit shorter unlike season two uh, which we'll take a look at at the end of the series so we got that and it's a pretty simple figure she's just she's not wearing like jedi robes or sith robes she's not wearing clone armor but yeah, we got to look at her outfit here. It's kind of a stonish, grayish color. Got her belt. Kind of like a skirt piece, I think. Does this move? It has a little movement. It's a little soft plastic there. She's wearing some brown pants. And then she has some black boots on. So this is a very tiny figure. And it costs, like, I think, $24 in store. So I feel like for smaller characters, they should, like, have to be, be like, $20. And the way they kind of make up for it is with the, all the accessories. But, um, yeah. Overall, it's pretty cool to get um, Season 1 Omega. She goes nicely with the other Bad Batch members. And, yeah. So, with that, let's take a look at articulation. So, her head can go 360 degrees like so. She can go that far down and that far up. Go side to side a little bit. She can move her arms around like that. And can pull out like so. Bend at the elbow. Twist at the elbow. And she has a little wrist joint. So, you can go... I think it's like that. It goes like that. And you can twist the hand also. And then for this, it should be the same for this arm. So bend at the elbow. And then twist at the hand. Or twist at the elbow. And then twist at the hand. Maybe. Twist at the hand. There we go. And then her hand go like that. Um, side to side. That little joint. She does turn at the waist. So you got that. And she does not go side to side really. 
She can do the ab crunch that far down and that far back. She can do the splits like so. And then she can bend her leg down like that. And then twist at that joint where that boot starts. And then go put her foot down that far. And go side to side like so. And it's going to be same for this um, leg. So the foot can go that far, side to side. Twist at the boot area. And then bend at the knee. There we go. So yeah, that's a look at articulation. So that's my Omega review. Let me now get her in a pose with a bow. We'll take a look at my final thoughts. So there you go. That is my review of Omega from Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1. And yeah, overall it's pretty nice. It's a decent little figure. I think Season 2 Omega, at least the action figure is my favorite. Um, but we'll get to that again, like I said, at the end of this, I guess, series. So with that, let me know what you thought of this character in the comments below. And yeah, with that... We'll be moving on with Echo next week and Cad Bay, so keep an eye out for that. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.